guys welcome to fifa world cup germany 2006 on the ps2 guys this time so uh, yes originally i did want to play this game uh on the 360 unfortunately can't do that because of a uh, error with the game and also the xbox version wouldn't work either for me so the original xbox so um yes here we are guys and as you can see the um you know the menus are a little bit different from the other uh, versions uh, and whatnot that I've already shown, it's penalty shootout and all kinds of stuff, global challenge of course, but we're going to go straight to it guys, we are playing the 2006 FIFA World Cup, let's start a new game, so uh, yes, now you can basically pick which part you want to start at, so you could pick the finals, um, if you wanted, um, you can pick South American qualifiers, Oceania qualifiers, North America, Caribbean, European, Asian, well, we've already done European pretty much, haven't we, in Road to World Cup, so we really don't ever want to do that again, um, although, you know, if you guys voted for it, I guess it would come to it, but no, uh, in this one, guys, uh, we're going to be going to North America and Caribbean uh, Cup qualifiers, so we're going to do it from the very start and whatnot, so yes, that pretty much confirms that you guys have voted for a team in that sector. Now, what is the team that you guys have voted for? As you can see, there is, uh, you know, a few teams in this. There's Costa Rica there, um, Canada, of, of course, uh, Salvador, uh, Guatemala, Honduras, Jamaica, Mexico, Panama, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Vincent and... Gr 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 whatever Trinidad and uh, United States United States and Mexico you'd probably arguably say that they are the best teams in this um, era guys but the team that you want me to play as is Canada guys I don't know why but you guys have voted for Canada on this so yes they are ranking is 66 in fact what is the ranking of Mexico are 11th in the world, and United States 12th are currently at the time, guys. So, uh, yes, yeah, so we're going to go for Canada, Canada then, guys, which is uh, is very uh, interesting. So, yes, we're going to hit select, and these are the groups. What group have we been put into here? Uh, okay, not, not too bad. We've got Costa Rica, Honduras, Guatemala in our group. So we've avoided USA and Mexico, guys, so that is actually really good. Um, so, yeah not a bad group there guys i'm just gonna go with whatever the game gives me and here hit next so we're in group two and um yeah let's uh let's wait for the game to load which is taking a thousand years but yeah some time today would be kind of nice okay there we go <laughs> wow that took a really long time uh anyway What's this? Oh, we've got to pick a friend. Are you kidding me? We've got to pick a friendly. So we've either got Serbia, Argentina, or France, guys. Oh, my gosh. I mean, I kind of want to go for Serbia because it might be the easier one, but... Um, you know what? I might go for France, guys, because who knows? We might not actually see them in this game, guys. I'll go for France. You know, we might get our asses handed to us, but I'll go for it, guys. You know what? Why not? Um... 
we already saw Argentina in the Road to World Cup anyway, so why not, I suppose. And uh, France got a really good team. If we lose, doesn't really matter, in my opinion. Anyway, so this is the um, stuff. So you got your squad. You know what your squad is. It's your squad. In fact, let's have a quick look at the squad anyway, guys. Uh, yeah, I suppose. So I don't really know any of these. I mean, I know some of these... Um, these players but i don't know all of them guys i really don't know all of them um i know rosinski because he played for fulham i want to say pretty certain guys he's probably oh wait stalteri as well i know him you know what i mean i'm just going with like you know um players from the premier league and stuff like that here guys so i um, mean yeah, some subs here de guzman yeah um Watson have I heard of him I can't remember to be honest guys I think that's about it like I don't really know any of them guys I really don't know any of them but yes that is our team looks like we go with the 4-4-2 default there so we got the group tables which you can see on the left hand side there sorry the right hand side there and it gives you top goal scorers but nobody's played yet and uh, we're starting on the 1st of August 2004 here guys so you know a couple of years in advance um yeah, um, a couple of years before the actual tournament, I mean, and uh, fixtures and results. So, yeah, we can have a look at our fixtures that are coming up. So on the 8th um, of August, no, 18th, sorry, wait a minute, Eight, 18th of August and then 18th of August again. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a little confused there, but I'm good, I'm good, I see what it means. Um, so I never played this version of the game before, guys, so, you know, it's all a little bit new to me, but you can have a look at, you know, the groups there, so that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, player stats, don't really need to go through that, they had no stats to show off. And you get this virtual magazine thing here, which is pretty cool, to be honest, guys. It, like, sure, like, as you progress, it kind of, like, tells you stuff about your team and how other stuff's going, sort of, kind of thing. It's kind of, kind of a nice little thing, I suppose. Um, ear, passport... Which um, is self-explanatory. Um, you know, if you beat a team, you get the stamp in the passport, pretty much. And like the objective is to like fill it all up, guys. You can see like all Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, etc., world, etc., guys. So does that. Um, which you know, if you want to spend your time doing it, that's cool. There's leaderboard. Um, which, you know, the yellow cards, red cards, top goal scorers, etc, etc. And then my FIFA World Cup. Now, um, oh, but just before I get into this, guys, if if a bigger team, in quotation marks, was picked, um, for example, I don't know, Brazil, Argentina, England, uh, Italy, France, etc. If one of those teams was picked, there's no Spain because I played a Spain in Euro 2004 and also Germany can't qualify for the tournament, I've checked. Um, because, it, well, it, it's in Germany, of course, so you would expect that, but just to make sure I checked and they don't qualify. Um, basically, I was going to play the game on World Class, but I was going to play it on the 360 version. So if a lesser team in quotation marks was picked such as Canada um, I'm going to play it on professional guys so I hope that's okay I'm going to set the game speed to fast injuries on offsides on bookings on of course display blah 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 dynamic camera because I like the dynamic camera and I'm going to do that there's also this weird thing here with widescreen so you can turn it off or you can turn it on guys like I don't know what you guys prefer I've got the widescreen on just for like YouTube purposes etc but I don't know what you guys think of that. So, uh, you know, before we get into the series, got to go through some of the basic stuff, guys, you know, just to make sure that we all know what's going on, you know, get the boring stuff out of the way first. And then we'll, we will proceed eventually. And this game takes forever to, to save. So, yeah, whatever. And I think it always asks you to save after every match. Anyway, so we got the controls. We got the store here. Um, where you can unlock, you know, classic players. I've been all through this before, like in other ones, guys. You know, I mean, if you want to see any of this, you know, just like pause the video or whatever, you know, it's, again, it's self-explanatory stuff. There's f certain footballs you can get from like the past. It's all the Adidas ones and stuff like that. And um, there's the golden final one there. I don't know if you saw that. Um, classic kits of classic England, classic France, Germany, Italy, Spain. Unlockables, perfect difficulty, invisible walls, uh, no infringement, slow motion, turbo mode. So, um, yeah. 
there is that guys of course the ear tracks which if you haven't seen i guess i will go through them just for the purposes again i am just going to show these off very briefly guys um in case you know you haven't seen any of the other videos where i've showed this off so there it's just a very brief thing there uh, profile manager which is just your profile for example you know by current streak eight wins Nickname is Bench Warmer for some reason, whatever. <laughs> That'll go with probably more games I win. But that's the main stuff out of the way, guys. So let's get straight into the nitty grit, guys. Let's get in there. It looks like we're away at France. Um, so, yeah, you know what? I was playing as Italy. Uh, I think it was last week in this game. And they have, like, a really good setup in their team. Like, they played this really, like, weird formation. Like, I wonder if I can find... I think it's this one here, where they've got the free back, and then, like... I'm going to play that, guys, because I really... I like that formation. I'm going to go ahead and sort this out, and then I will see you in the game. So, anyway, guys, I've gone ahead and sort of figured a few things out. You guys might have to tell me what the best setup for Canada is, and I'm going to have to maybe, like, you know, play around with the game a little bit. But uh, in between uh, the loading screens, I've showed that off before, you get, like, these little um, things that pop up and give you, like, interesting facts about, uh, like, the teams um, that you're playing that are involved in the game that you're about to play. So, um, yeah. Anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Um, here we go. We're just going to kick things off with this first match here. It's a friendly, so it doesn't matter if we don't win. Um, I'm not really expecting a whole lot. If we can get a draw, that would be good. You know, if we lose, yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter, does it? It's not a qualifying game, so it's not where, where it really, really, really counts. So, um, yes. And look at that team. Cooper, Sanger, Boom Song, Turam, Galas, Vieira. Like, holy crap, Zidane. Of course, Zidane is still in, uh, you know, back in these days. He was, you know, I mean, he retired um, after the World Cup final. That was his last game, his last ever game. He was, he was sent off for that headbutt <laughs> um, and got a red card, guys. What a ledge. <laughs> what a way to go. <laughs> but, um, yeah, you know. Great stuff, and uh, these cutscenes are a little bit long. Of course, the cutscenes are going to be really good, though. I mean, they always are. They always step it up in the World Cup games and stuff like that. You know, they always, they always do that. I mean, they've got to make these games as as good as they possibly can be, I suppose, because not only is it you know like a a, a big competition, but it's a competition that doesn't last very long, guys. You know what I mean? It, it what is the World Cup like? Six weeks? I think I believe this World Cup was only like six weeks long. You know, and to make a whole game just on a six week long um, the competition, you know, you gotta you gotta have something, I suppose, guys. So um, yeah, here we go then. Let's uh, see if we can uh, if we can win, guys. I don't know. Maybe we can. Maybe we can't. But um, if we keep the ball, I reckon we could do well, guys. You know what I mean? Look, can we get Canada to the World Cup? You know what? Canada, I think they've always had a pretty good team, you know what? And it's like, I'm very surprised to see them not, like, enter the World Cup or something. You, you know what I mean, guys? Like, I always think that's a little weird how they, you know, you don't really see them uh, in the World Cup and that. But that's just me. That's just what I think. Um, the controls, again, guys... Um, Oh, what do I say about the controls? Um, yeah, when you're taking a penalty, you've got that sweet spot, guys. I've talked about it in FIFA 06. It reappears in this game. Oh, okay. Well, that could have been a bad start. Thierry Henry, I think that was the... Um, yeah, you, you've, you've got that. And uh, you can do, like, finesse shots sort of thing like if you hold like I'm playing the PS2 version here so if I hold down the R2 button I can do like a sort of controlled shot kind of thing you, you, you know what I mean like that kind of thing um, and whatnot I mean I, I long shots I mean I don't know I mean I haven't had a whole lot of practice with this game guys but the long shots tend to get a little bit more saved than usual for me uh, that's just what i'm finding at the moment but again like i say i don't have a whole lot of practice at it um but the the passing and whatnot is it's just fifa 06 you know it's like and again i've talked about this in the past it's like you know is there some elements of fifa 07 in there you probably can say that i would imagine 
And there is maybe one or two ele elements, but not a whole lot. Oh, and it's pulled back. Oh, never mind. Doing uh, okay so far. So, um, yeah. Let's, let's get in there, boy. Oh, that was terrible. But, um, yeah, I, when I was talking about, like, playing Italy's, like, formation that they've got in this... Um, uh, game. I was playing as Italy in Road to World Cup uh, when I was like first sort of like getting into that guys and like they was like they was like really good um, but in this game it feels like it's changed a little bit and their formation is like I don't know because they get they get men men forward and they have attack but they get the men back as well for when they need to defend and it's like really good and I was like it's it for me it just feels kind of really balanced so I've gone with that like sort of four three one two formation and just sort of hope that that works um because i don't know but um i don't know it just it just re worked really well it just ha gives you so many like options up front i mean look at this right here we're, we're just like getting through and everything and shot there wasn't the best shot in the world but you know what that was a good effort that oh my god that was so off target holy hell like, that couldn't have been any more off target. How did you miss that? Oh, my God. How did you miss that? We surely needed to score that. That was total bum. But whatever. Um, but, yeah, France, World Cup finalists. So I mean, you know, ranked fourth in the world at the time. They had a really good team. Um, so I'm expecting something really good from them. I think it was, um, was it the 2010 World Cup where they did really terribly bad, I think. And just France were just like, oh my god, they were just like awful. Um, I'm pretty sure it was that World Cup. Like they just, I don't know what happened to France. Like, you know, they won like the, uh, they won Euro 2000, didn't they? I believe in the World Cup 98 and stuff like that. And it's like, since then it's just... They've had a good team still, but it's not been as good in my opinion. Oh my gosh, can I sweaty that? Nope, I can't. I really should have taken the shot there. If it if it had have been um, if it had have been a uh, you know qualifying game, I would have taken the shot there, guys. And this is really good. Ah, oh, I tell you what, I'm having shots, having chances, and I'm enjoying that stuff, guys. Again, it doesn't matter because it's not a too important game. Uh, but yeah, I guess there is going to be sort of friendlies along the way, which I don't really... I mean, it's sort of like we're Road to World Cup again in that sense, where you get to pick them. I think Euro 2004, you didn't get... Ooh, I don't think you, you didn't get to pick the, um, the friendlies, did you? Um, so... That's over the bar. Pass out here, nearly at half time. You know, we've had some decent chances. To be honest, it's me screwing around has kind of let us down. We could have maybe had a goal by now, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to. F I don't know what to think. You know what I mean? I'm, 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 you know, if I'm gonna try and get a sweaty in this game, guys, you know, like I like I do with every series, you know, if I'm gonna try and get a sweaty. I might as well try and do it in a friendly match. But it doesn't really matter. So it doesn't really matter if I screw up, you know. <laughs> and oh my gosh, seriously. Come on. You know, I might even be like ready for world class. <laughs> God, to, be, to be honest, I didn't expect to, for us to be doing as good as we sort of are here. But maybe, maybe it's the formation. Like I say, I think this one really works really well. Um but yeah, and here we go. This is half time right here. Oh well, guys. Oh well, that'll do. Let's uh, bring on the second half. Come on, Canada. Yeah. So here we are in the second half, then, guys. Uh, not a whole lot to say. Haven't changed anything. Just going to keep it as as it is. Um. And don't really need to do a whole lot, in my opinion. And, oh, come on then. Like, you, you could have passed that. Oh, no, 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 no. He's wide open. Holy hell. Like, get into the ball, man. That's it. Come on, this is it. This is good. This is good stuff. Brah. 
Oh, this is good. This is good. Yeah, oh, what was that? That was miles over. Yeah, I do think it maybe kind of is easy to blast the ball over the bar, especially on headers and stuff. Like if you cross the, if you cross the ball like into the um, into the box, like headers tend to like fly right over the bar quite a lot. That that used to kind of happen on uh, Road to World Cup as well, guys. I guess that kind of happens on FIFA 06 in general quite a lot. Um, you know what I mean? You're like you really got to. Oh crap! Oh, that is such a good goal to be honest. There ain't nothing we can do about that. I'm a, you got to give them that, I suppose. Um, what was I saying? Like, yeah, I mean, like when the headers come in, I sort of like try, try and t uh, just tap the button slightly, uh, just to keep it down. But yeah, that is that is a good goal. You you got to give them that. You got to give them that. What well, we ain't doing too bad so far. Good ball. Oh, what? Oh, come on, man. Like, you had all the time in the world to get that. Oh, jeez. You know, I really wish I took my chances more <laughs> now. I know it's only a friendly, but I'm kind of regretting it a little. Would have been nice to have, like, beaten France or something. Then again, there still is time, I suppose. And where am I going with this? Um... Yeah, there's something I want to show off, but I can't show it off without the ball here. So, oh dear, oh my gosh, goalkeeper's alert. So basically, if I hold the um, R2 button, I can sort of move around like this and, and sort of keep the ball and stuff like that, uh, which is really nice. It's the, the button you hold as well when you're... Um, oh, here we go. When you're... Um, oh, oh, hello. No. Oh, wait a minute. Nope. Okay. Um, the button you hold when you're trying to do one of those, like, finish shots or controlled shots or whatever you want to call it. Oh, that was a good effort. Oh. That was a pretty good effort. Oh, uh, Maluda's coming off for them. Yeah, man. Maluda back in these days. Back in these days. Oh, I don't really have anyone to pass to here. Oh, come on. It feels like we might get a goal here. It feels like we might do if we just keep trying. That's good. That's good. Oh, again, the shot. Uh, I remember back in these days, I used to take long shots all the time on this game. Like, It just used to be amazing. And, oh, Ian, come on, get out to it. And, uh, I don't know if you guys, I, I believe there, guys, I believe that if a player is offside on your team, on the radar, his, like, little icon flashes. Uh, I don't know if you guys are, are seeing that, which is uh, is something kind of nice, I suppose. It I I kind of like games that alert you when a player is offside. I kind of like them because, you know, it just it lets you know instead of having to use your own judgment. But, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. If you want to play this game on a slightly harder mode, you know, you got to use your own judgment for it. But that's just whatever you want to do. And, oh my god, I'm going to lose the ball in a minute. <laughs> I'm really going to lose the ball in a minute. Oh, come on, I, I can't really, like, there's so many men in there. Like, oh, cross it! Oh, come on, man. There's got to be something. Please, we've done really well here. Galas is going to come off. And again, that cutscene is like way too long. Let's get it back in there. Yes! There we go. There we go. Tic tacs, guys. Tic tacs. That's what I always do. Like every football game, I always put it towards the near post and then just try and, you know, hit it across or something. That's oh, I always do that. And it just works quite a lot of the time. Kind of reminds me of. Um, like FIFA 2005 when I used to do that all the time, guys. <laughs> I 
Anyway, guys, I'm only going to make the one sub uh, just before the end here. I think I'm taking Hutchinson off. Um, and that's pretty much all I'm going to do. So, yeah, make what you will of that, guys. I am just, you know, like I say, it's not too important at the moment. Oh, please don't let us concede here. Please, 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 please. Holy crap, that couldn't have been any closer. Like, seriously, the, Guz the Guzman's going to come on there. Hits the um, did he hit the bar there? Hit the bar like, sort of went out. But then my play, my play could have like taken it in there. Yeah, he took it out of the player. But um, yeah. Oh, also, I just want to say that the uh, like the wing play and the counter attack options are in this game as well. So you know, I'm gonna switch that on, I suppose, for now. Uh, why not? Why not just attack them right at the end of this match? I suppose. So. Come on, let's get in there, man. That's it. Come on, we could we could do this here. Oh, oh is that full time? Oh, we win the ball back and it's full time. Oh, whatever. You know what? It doesn't matter, though, to be honest, guys. That was a good opening game. It's 1-1. I enjoyed that pretty much. Not a bad uh, game. Anyway, you got your little stat screen here, which is kind of nice as well. So, you know, it tells you literally everything. Um... Total shot. We had 12 shots to their five, so, you know, <laughs> we're playing good already. Anyway, guys, if you um, win certain matches and do certain things, um, yeah, you can acquire some points, which can be spent on unlocking stuff in the game. So, uh, yeah, just uh, pointing that out. Um, performance bonus, positive 140, negative zero. Passport bonus, we don't get anything for that. Objective bonus, so yeah, we get like a little total there. You can actually view the bonus details as well uh, with this little table here. So if you want to look at that, guys, you can uh, look at that. Anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. So in the next episode, we have got Guatemala. Um, let's have a look, fixtures and results. So yes, that will be our first group game, guys. So yeah, that's uh, that's it, guys. I've pretty much explained everything that I pretty much need to. I don't think there's anything else. And um, yeah, you can also view the tables here if you uh, if you want to as well. So uh, yes, we will be playing them in the next episode. And uh, moving on from there. So thank you for watching this episode, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and share. As always, I will see you guys next time for part two. See you then.